I had no idea what to say to Kurasu. And more than that, the words, nice to meet you, hit me harder than I thought they would. This wasn't the Kurasu I'd spent those three weeks with. Maha had told me this ahead of time, and I thought I understood it, but hearing it for myself hurt more than I imagined. I regretted not taking my anxiety meds, but it was too late now. My heart rate soared, and my breathing became irregular. My head was spinning, and the corners of my vision were beginning to dim, and at some point, my lips had gone totally dry. Is something wrong, Okabe? Kursu sounded worried. That voice software must be pretty good if it could handle nuances like that. His major is in brain science. But he's very interested in our research. Is he? Dr. Leskinen likes him too. At some point, I plan to make him my assistant. <laughs> my head snapped up in surprise at Maho's bizarre statement. Me, Maho's assistant? Then I'd go to Victor Chondria University? Oh, you don't like the idea? It's not whether I like it or not. Well, it was a joke anyway. A joke? Oh, did you take that seriously? I did not. Of course you did. I wasn't going to tell her that I almost did. So? But... I see, but if you study really hard, it might not be a joke after all. <laughs> Even if it wasn't, I'd rather be Dr. Leskinen's assistant. This is my way of getting back at her. It's harder to be at his assistant than you might think. He's really a big kid. As she spoke, she quietly came over next to me and tapped me on the arm a few times. I see, so that was it. She was making a joke to try and calm me down. <laughs> Sorry, thanks. What are you, whatever are you talking about? I didn't think subtlety was her thing, but maybe I was wrong. Um, Maho, excuse me. Kurasu back in to Maho from within the screen in a very human manner. What is it? Speaker, 